Well, nobody was expecting this. We got our first look at Beyond the Spider-Verse. It's just a couple of storyboards, but boy does it give us a new look at the villain for the upcoming sequel, and man has it become a, well, colossal problem. Let's dive in. Now before we do that though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos and we want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we want to bring it to you truthfully and transparently so you are really in the know. Well, it's been pretty clear to most of us Spider fans that Beyond the Spider-Verse was not going to make its early 2024 release date. Now that the writer strike and the actor strike is over, this movie is probably finally moving forward. But even before the strikes, the production team had made it pretty clear it was nowhere near on schedule and it was going to take as long as it took to get the movie done. Now, Across the Spider-Verse left us on one heck of a cliffhanger. And even though there was this massive showdown between all the spiders, let's not forget who the big baddie is and the direction that he's taken us. The Spot. Now, earlier today, the scooper known as Can We Get Some Toast dropped a really interesting tweet. Now, they provided us some concept art directly from the Spider-Verse production crew. But with that, there was a little more information, and it gave a ton of more context to the actual concept art. So first, let's check out the picture. And then, let's check out the tweet. Now, in the tweet, they say, The first official look at storyboards featuring Gwen Stacy and the spot from Beyond the Spider-Verse, which seemed pretty obvious to all of us. But then, they go on to say, and I can exclusively share, the spot will become the Abyss after augmenting his powers in Across the Spider-Verse. Now, the storyboard itself does not reveal an incredible amount, but boy does it give us a look at the spot and he's clearly changed quite a bit. His powers in the first movie clearly seemed a bit out of control, and whatever goes down in Beyond the Spider-Verse that turns him into this new villain known as the Abyss, well, it's clearly colossal in size, and it turns him into a whole new scale of villain. Given the nature of this franchise and what's going on with the spot, I actually suspect that his powers are, well, morphing, and his ability to draw things into his spots is probably a direct threat to the multiverse as a whole, and the menace of this villain will probably be what brings the factions of the various spiders together on the same side to face down this villain and hopefully bring the trilogy to a satisfying conclusion. Now, to be fair, there were a couple of other storyboards that dropped, but none of them had anywhere near this level of detail. As a matter of fact, they were all pretty abstract. You should be seeing them right now. They're worth noting that they're there, but they really don't reveal anything interesting. As we said, this project is early in its now, as we said, this project is early in its developmental process. I'm kind of surprised we even got this concept art at this point, but honestly, it looks great, and I appreciate the production team putting it out there so soon. When we get more, well, we're gonna have to wait and see.